Welcome to the Santu Pearl Stock Market Commentary Video, your weekly window on stock market technical conditions featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for September 1st, 2019. Market breadth. With this past week's market decline, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 0.71 rose from 0.57 last week. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns decreased 6% to 2,950. The count of bearish stocks decreased 13%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 8%. The Santu Pearls BNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now five weeks in bearish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the open office calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by emailing s2p market signal at protonmail.com for payment and access instructions, or by visiting Patreon. To receive the weekly Santu Pearl Stock Market Commentary via email free of charge, simply enter your email address in the space provided and click Follow. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, rose 31 points for the seventh advance in 12 weeks. At a negative 294.36 points, it continues below all eight tops above plus 100, has formed a new August 2019 bottom, continues below the February 2018 bottom, and continues above the remaining four bottoms below minus 100 in the last 30 months. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in either accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume lower than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had one accumulation day and three distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in distribution mode on lower average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily continuing in a Woody's downtrend, is now at positive 59.56, up from negative 75.22 last week. It now has two consecutive days above zero, indicating a possible change in trend this coming week. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 24 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's downtrend three weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly in a Woody's uptrend at negative 13.03 rose from negative 45.20 last week. It has formed a valid zero-line reject long entry signal. We will continue following this new trade simulation in next week's commentary. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are negative. Summary, gold and silver, S&P retail, brokers, and some tech on the top. Oil services and oil on the bottom. Bullish, oil services continues in the bottom five. Computer hardware, S&P retail, and disk drives continue in the top five. S&P Retail and Brokers have entered the top five. Bearish, Gold and Silver continues in the top five. Focus this week from www.stockcharts.com. Growth versus value rotation is sending a very clear message on RRG. The following are some key points and a chart. The general take on this relationship is that growth stocks do well when the market as a whole is doing well, while value stocks are seen as a safe haven that will do well, or at least better than the general market, in times when stocks are coming down. The rotation on the RRG very clearly shows the strength for growth stocks over value. The strong JDKRS dot momentum for growth as it travels higher on the JDKRS.ratio axes is causing a positive RRG heading on this group. 
at the opposite side of the RRG, value stocks are showing the reverse rotation, weak RS momentum in combination with drooping values on the RS-dash ratio scale make a rotation from improving back to lagging at a negative RRG dash heading. Lengthening the tails for both indexes on this RRG shows the longer term relationship for this rotation of growth versus value. I have marked the dates when the tails cross over to different quadrants. On 25 January, both tails simultaneously cross over. Value moves from leading into weakening. This is the red tail in the chart above. While growth moves from lagging into improving around four weeks after the December 2018 low was put into place. As you know, there is no specific trigger point or signal point on RRG charts, but in the period from 25 January to 8 March, evidence for improvement of growth over value continued to mount. Combining this type of information with observations on the price chart of the S&P 500, or in this case, the DJ US index, can help you in assessing overall market conditions. I have marked the dates when the tails cross over to different quadrants. On 25 Jan, both tails simultaneously cross over. Value moves from leading into weakening. This is the red tail in the chart above. While growth moves from lagging into improving around four weeks after the December 2018 low was put into place. The rotations through weakening and improving were short lived, however, and recently the tails turned round once again. One to two weeks ago, growth crossed back into leading while value re entered the lagging quadrant. This sort of rotation is typical for the start of a new lag in an existing trend, in this case, the outperformance of growth over value. Personally, this observation makes me feel a bit more comfortable looking at the graphs for major market indexes, wearing my buyer's glasses. It just gives you a little more confidence judging bullish indications from their price charts. Therefore, in my humble opinion, using RRG charts not only on primary series like stocks and sector indexes directly can add value to your process. The growth versus value rotation as described in the example above, as well as size indexes or RRGs showing a rotation of various forms of breadth data, etc., can all help you get that little extra information that you cannot find on a price chart. Taking the information on growth versus value to the S&P 500 chart, my judgment is that a break from the current range is more likely to occur to the upside rather than the downside. Thank you for watching this week's Santu Pearl stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl. S2P Market Signal at ProtonMail.com. For Santu Pearl Stock Market Commentary, I'm Cynthia Pearl, hoping that you have been enjoying a peaceful and pleasant Labor Day weekend, that you are looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, and wishing you true success.